Hi guys, welcome back to the vlog. I'm gonna take you guys along for a little week with me. And this week we're gonna be focusing all on gratitude. I've realized that I wanna make it more of a practice in my day rather than just something that I constantly come back to throughout time. So over the past week, I've kind of discovered that I feel lost and I feel like I've really just like admitted to myself that I feel lost in life. I have an entire video talking about that coming up. Either it's posted or it will be posted this Sunday. I feel like after doing that, I've really just been coming back to the present and like where I currently am. And another thing that I've been really doing is finding gratitude for everything and realizing that the thing that constantly and consistently makes me feel good is gratitude, but that I don't necessarily have an actual practice for it. Like I have my spiritual practices of meditation and of journaling and of praying and all of these things that I do, but they're not necessarily a routine that I have instilled in my day. It's more so something that I go to, you know, randomly when I feel like it. I basically want to create an actual like rooted daily spiritual practice for specifically gratitude. So that's what we're gonna come up with today is figuring out what that's gonna look like because I don't really know exactly what is the most practical for me and the thing that makes me feel the best. So I'm gonna think on that a bit, think about if it's whether it's like journaling or whether it's meditation on gratitude or affirmations, basically just like figuring out what the thing I wanna do is. And I think I'm gonna use a little bit of habit stacking to do this as well. If you don't know what habit stacking is, it's basically when you do one thing with another so let's say for example you always brush your teeth while also listening to affirmations that's habit stacking or you always go on a walk and then come in drink a full glass of water that's habit stacking and it's basically just like taking a thing that you want to do and matching it and pairing it with something that you already do and then it becomes part of the routine but right now i'm gonna make dinner and think about it while i cook I just had to set a little vibe in my house and make it nice and warm toned because it's snowing outside. It was so nice for a few days and now it's like back to being really snowy. So I've been in the mood of making everything really cozy again and taking for granted that I have this winter season. I just basically filmed a little video talking about how to be your dream self and I'm really happy with the video. I feel like just so excited. I feel like, I don't know, the past week has been really, really, really exciting and I just feel really good and confident and although lost, like good about it. Like I just feel, I don't know, something just feels right. Like it just feels good. The energy in the air is just... I showed you guys that I did my little morning routine and I've included in my morning routine now a five minute gratitude meditation. So every single morning, as soon as I wake up in the morning, instead of going on my phone and scrolling on TikTok or Pinterest or whatever the thing that I decide to do that morning is, I will go on YouTube and I will watch or do a gratitude meditation. I'll put the link to the one that I'm doing down below and I'm just going to make that a part of my routine now. I feel like it's making me have so much energy throughout the day which has been really nice and I just feel I feel really good. My little bangle stack today is so cute. I have this one is from my Nana and then this one is from Oakenfort and then these ones actually both from my best friend Sam. This one's a love quartz and then sorry this one's a rose quartz and then this one is I think it's called adventuring 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 something like that um okay so the three journal prompts that i would recommend for you guys to try would be one three things that you're grateful about just easy simple everybody knows this one 
Then what I want you to do is go into a little more detail. So the next one that you're going to do is three things that you're grateful for about yourself. Not about your life, but about yourself. So like, what things have you done that you're proud of? What do you like about yourself? What qualities do you really like about yourself? What do you think is beautiful about your physical self? Just like basically give yourself some love. Three things. And then you're going to say three things that you're grateful for from God. Obviously, all of the things that you've listed yourself and your life can be applied to that. But this can be more specifically towards God. So whatever you feel like you really want to thank God for, you can include here. So yeah, what you're thankful for from yourself, from life, and from God. I also want to do a gratitude board. So you guys know about vision boards. You've seen my videos before talking about those. And I love a vision board. And I think it was last year I did a thing called a success board where I basically made a board that demonstrated all of my previous successes as a reminder to myself that I have accomplished things before and I have succeeded before and that I will continue to do so. And just kind of like putting myself in that state of feeling good because when you feel good, you attract good. And I also think that when you're in a state of gratitude, you're really just like receptive to manifesting. Um, and it feels good, it just feels good. Like, who doesn't wanna feel good? So anyways, this time what I wanna do is make a gratitude board. So not necessarily do the things that I'm like proud of accomplishing and like doing like my success, but more so doing things that I'm grateful for having. So it could be things like my Miko baby, it could be things like my home, it could be things like, my hair, cutting my hair short, it could be things like, just like whatever, whatever things I feel grateful for, I'm basically just making a little vision board of that. I like just like having creative little ways to do things, especially like I do them a lot online. Lately, whenever I've been filming my sit down videos, there are people living in like my building with me and I always get like anxiety that they can hear everything I'm saying because I can hear them pretty clearly. And I'm like, I'm scared that they're just listening in on all of my little self-development advice and thinking, what a weirdo. Like, they're also younger than me too, so I'm like, do I sound like the weirdo, like, older person upstairs giving, like, advice to a camera, talking to myself? Probably, but I always have to, like, hide myself and be like, hey, it's fine. You're fine. Nobody's judging you. Nobody cares. But... Yeah, that's how I've been feeling lately. But anyways, I'm gonna get my lashes done today. I really need them done badly, so I'm excited about that. It's also family day right now, so it's actually a Monday, but I have the day off, which I've been really, really liking. I still woke up as if I had work, and I like had my morning routine, and now I just have like the whole day to do this. Literally to do this. But I need to give him a haircut. He's falling asleep. Right now I'm just about to make a little coffee from my coffee cart. This is the Bianca Dopio pod for the Nespresso. But yeah, I'm making that right now. I am already not a morning person, but today I'm literally exhausted. Last night Miko woke me up at 2 o'clock in the morning to go outside to pee. And mind you, it was my fault. I didn't let him go pee before bed and I didn't realize. So when he woke me up in the middle of the night, I was like, fuck, yeah, that was, I forgot to let you out. Like, I, I literally just didn't think about it. And he was whining at the door, so I was like, hey, we have to go. So that really, like, messed up my sleep schedule. And then I also just went to bed really late because I was starting to watch Love is Blind. And I got too invested and I started watching too many episodes. And I was like, if you go to sleep past 11 p.m., you wake up miserable, and that's what happened today. I woke up miserable. So I'm making a coffee. I don't really have coffee or caffeine every day. Sometimes I have a tea. Sometimes I have a coffee. Sometimes I have a matcha. Sometimes I have nothing. It really just depends what I feel like. But I try not to have coffee, like, right first thing in the morning because I know it's really bad for, like, your gut lining and, like, your gut health in general. So I don't usually do that. So that's why I quickly made a little yogurt bowl that I'm going to eat. And then I'm going to have my coffee, which I don't even think that's any better, but today is just one of those days. I've realized the past while I haven't really been that good of a vlogger. Like, I've been doing the kind of more meaningful vlogs lately where I 
have kind of a meaning behind everything and I feel like I film less like this when I'm filming those types of videos but I really like when I film like this where I'm just like chatting with you guys and talking and like there's a meaning but also we're just like shooting the shit so that's what this vlog is gonna be if you have a preference like if you prefer my more chatty kind of more relaxed vlogs let me know or if you prefer more of like my not cinematic but like my more put together beautifully that was water um and like less talking let me know what you prefer we have my little coffee i just added a scoop of sugar some milk and some ice and then i put a little straw in it because i realized halfway that i wanted to make it an iced coffee and then here i have some strawberry yogurt i have a little scoop of almond butter some frozen blueberries and this like chocolate strawberry granola it's really yummy a sweet breakfast today which i usually don't do i feel like sometimes if i eat sweets in the morning it makes me crave sweets all throughout the rest of the day because you know how there's that thing where it's like once you start something off once you start when you start your day off with something your brain craves it throughout the day so it's like picking up your phone in the morning now your brain is gonna crave picking up the phone whatever you do first thing in the morning is kind of what makes is kind of what like you set your day up for and so i've heard about that with sweets like if you eat a sweet breakfast it one doesn't keep you full as long and also it makes you want sweets i feel like i know so many little like self-improvement ways to better yourself things but i also think that it's really unhealthy to be like so hyper focused on always being like completely perfect and not kind of like just living your life a little bit like i think that everything in moderation including like health and wellness if that makes sense like there can become a point where your stress over your health and you being quote unquote like healthy is actually just causing more damage because you're stressed and i always i think i don't remember where i heard this but it was like the th first thing to kill you will be your stress like it's not going to be the things that you're eating the bad foods or the the bad chemicals that you're inhaling in the air all that stuff the thing that's going to kill you first is your stress so figure that out work on that and don't make all the other things just like a way to stress instead just like do what you can and work on your mindset meditate go for walks relax take a fucking chill pill you know okay i'm about to go to the gym it's currently almost 12 o'clock oh no it is exactly 12 o'clock so we need to head out soon because i don't have that much time but i want to show you guys a quick little outfit and i also want to talk to you guys about weight loss and like my health journey and stuff like that really quick i just want to like share a few things on it but i want to give a little intro to that because i know sometimes people can be triggered when people talk about weight and stuff like that so i just want to give a little heads up and i'll put a timestamp on the screen so if you want to skip ahead i will see you in the next clip so here are the things that i did so that if you want to try them out you can or if you're just curious what i did first thing was i started eating on smaller plates i have two sizes of plates that i eat on and i started to eat on the smaller one because it made me just like eat less. I also grew up in a family where I didn't have to finish my food if I was full and I really, really, really loved that. I know that not everybody has that privilege, but I would never get in trouble, at least for my parents. Like grandparents was a little bit of a different situation or other people, but my parents were always like, if you're full, stop eating. Like there's no need to do that. And I really think that for some reason, once I hit like 21 or something, I started having this thing where I would finish all of the food on my plate. Like I'd have to eat to completion. And I realized that and I was like, why the freak am I doing that? Like I'm not even checking in with myself to see if I'm full. Like I'm eating mindlessly. So I've stopped doing that since. And I now check in with myself. I'm like, am I full? Like do I need to get more? Do I need to stop here? Do I need to finish just what's on this plate? Like where am I at? And that really helps me. Um, as well as just taking out less food than I used to before. Like before I feel like I started to take so much more food than I needed and then I would feel so full and my stomach would kind of hurt and I would just like eat way more than necessary. Whereas now I'm just like, okay, I'll take less and if I want more, I can just go to the back and get some, you know what I mean? Um, so that's been one thing is just like decreasing my portion size in those little ways. Um, and then also I started working out consistently. I've been working out for years now, but it has never been this consistent. I have been going to the gym three times a week for the past two months, I want to say. Not even. Um, I took off a week last week 
not even gonna get into it. I just kind of was like, you know what? I'm gonna take the week off, take the week off. So I'm not like super, super strict on it, but I'm definitely a lot better than I used to be. Like there's, it's more likely that I'm gonna go than not. Um, so I go like every Monday, Wednesday, sometimes Thursday, and then Friday. So it's usually three times, but four times is there if I want to do it. Um, and then what else have I been doing? I've been incorporating an ab workout in every single workout, which is not something I used to do. I used to just do my lower body and then my upper body, but now no matter what workout I'm doing at the gym that day, I will start it with a 10 minute ab workout. Sometimes it doesn't end up being 10 minutes because I don't really take breaks, but yeah, that's that. Mm, is there anything else? Oh, another thing. I've become aware of calories. I'm definitely not counting my calories, but I started to take in, I think it was Leo Skeppy's video. If you guys don't watch him, I definitely recommend his channel. He talks about like self-development and stuff, but he also made a video on weight loss and on like building the body you want and stuff like that. Basically, he was talking about treating your calories like a budget. You know how many calories you can eat in a day to maintain the weight you're at or to lose weight or to gain weight. But yeah, I just wanted to give that little spiel. Didn't want to make a whole separate video on it because it's just, yeah, just a little side topic. But let's go to the gym. Also, look at my outfit. I feel so cute. I'm wearing the TNA um, BBL jacket. I forget what this is actually called, but you know what I'm talking about. And then these Align leggings. Guys, these Align leggings are literally like a godsend. Like... They're stunning, okay? They don't roll down, like, sorry, not my knee cracking, but like, do you see I'm like folding and it's not rolling down? That is un unheard of for me. Like when I do workouts, I always have my gym leggings rolling down. So that's been lovely. If they're also completely squat proof, the colors are nice. They're not like that, that expensive. Like for leggings, I feel like they're kind of average. Yeah, I have my hair in pigtails because that's kind of the style I've been doing lately. That's the one thing I don't like about working out is that my hair is always dirty. Like I can never, like once I go to the gym for the first day in the week, now my hair has to be up until basically Thursday or Friday when I can wash it. It's a shame. Okay, let's go to the gym. I'm going to bring you guys along on my GoPro, I think. I'm going to attempt. I'm a little nervous about it because I already have like a little bit of gym anxiety. Like I just feel a little like, is everyone looking at me? Am I being observed? Are people judging me? Like what, what's going on? And then... Filming and to on top of it is just like, I don't know. Let me stop talking. Let's go to the gym. On morning side, got no stick in a ride. If I take flicks with the guys, I gotta put emojis over like three faces because the face can't see those eyes. People I shouldn't be beside. When I was an actor, they would go strap for just to sell food on Bieber's side. Many reasons why I'm this way, my girl. That's just one reason why. I seen you around that so throw it up, man, baby. Love on some idiot guys. Obedient guys, jokers and comedian guys You know I'm like six foot two and I write you love But you love also medium guys I wanna keep you on a beach till 6 a.m. So you see sunrise Seeing you from the stage in the 100s These must be eagle eyes Pressing against me, thinking about entry No, you could tell it's a decent size You wanna know the real me, girl So you wanna see deep inside The chunks has on a Chanel side bag You don't wanna see him reach inside but we know some demon guys with jealous and evil eyes You know that's how Jesus died, you know that's how Julius Caesar died I bet they were decent guys, I swear they remind me of me sometimes I'm trying to be under your breast like peas and rice, you never get treated It's smoothie time! I want to show you guys the protein powder I use because it's literally amazing This isn't sponsored, they don't even know that I'm talking about this on here But they have sent me their products I think twice, no maybe three times now And every single time I'm amazed at how yummy their protein powder is it's, first of all, the flavors are delicious. This one's called vanilla chai. Vanilla chai protein powder. You can't tell me you don't want to try that. Like, come on. And then also, it's made with pea protein, so there's no whey in it, so the lactose intolerant girlies can live. I don't know, I just love it. It's only 170 calories for the full serving of a protein scoop. And then also it has 21 grams of protein for one scoop, which is really good. I feel like the calorie to protein ratio for that is like really and I never feel bloated I never feel icky afterwards I can actually finish the entire thing which I feel like usually for protein powders I can't strawberries and cream this one's delicious like this is like a classic smoothie milkshake thing two shots of tequila if you guys don't get that reference sorry I don't know what to tell you one scoop of protein powder smells holy shit that smells so good a little scoop of collagen strawberries blueberries oh she's thick oh yeah oh 
yeah, like ice cream. Like fucking ice cream. Get in there. First impression. What the fuck? I think because I mixed it with strawberry and blueberry, like vanilla chai, strawberry and blueberry, probably would have been better for like a banana type smoothie to have more of like a, like a bland kind of creamy taste, if that makes sense. It's not bad. It's really good still. Um, and I'm still going to drink it, but something about it is interesting. Okay, so we're going to try out this little nail grinder. This is what the box looks like. I was sent it by the company it's from Amazon. I'll leave it linked down below. Miko is very sensitive to having his nails cut, um, even at the groomers. So we're gonna try this out and see if he's any better with it at home with the nail grinder. Keep your fingers crossed. I honestly don't have that much hope because I know how he is with his nails, but we shall see. scared puppy, I know. Whoa! We tried. I think he gives it a 0 out of 10. <laughs> but 10 out of 10 for the treats. What's going on? Something stuck in your mouth? 